Due to what the pastor says are safety issues, they'll only have one camera in the church providing uh, footage for all media outlets. They also have security as they expect a big crowd for Wednesday night church service. Embattled Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore is expected to pack the pews at Theodore's Magnolia Springs Baptist Church tomorrow night. The church's pastor is a longtime Moore supporter and friend. Things of which he's been accused that are that would be alarming if they were true. Uh, the, there's just no evidence. In fact, all the evidence we can gather points to his innocence. Dr. David Ganella has been defending Moore since the sexual misconduct allegations surfaced. Like Moore, he believes it's dirty politics. In my first interview with you folks, I said that the Republicans in Washington were a bunch of sissies. I repeat that. Uh, they just can't stand the idea of somebody they can't control being up there. If they were to expel Roy Moore, they would lose Alabama for a generation. The Republicans in Alabama are like elephants. They have long memories. Meanwhile, in an exclusive letter to AL.com, Lee Korfman, who accused Moore of undressing her when she was 14 and he was 32, demanded the former judge stop calling her a liar and attacking her character with his smears and false denials. Korfman made the comments in a letter following Moore's speech last night in DeKalb County. These allegations are completely false. They're malicious. Specifically, I do not know any of these women, nor have I engaged, have I ever engaged in sexual misconduct with any woman. Campaigning near Tuscaloosa, his Democratic opponent, Doug Jones, says it's all just a distraction from the real issue at hand. I still don't see him talking about the issues. Uh, he wants to call names, wants to divert attention from, you know, the real serious issues that he and his campaign face. And they, they want to dodge that. But I, I think he tries to continue to divert attention away from the real issues. Uh, but people see through that. Now, tomorrow's campaign stop will be a full church service. It starts at 630. They tell me it'll last for about an hour. Now, more will also be in Fairhope campaigning one week from tonight. We have some breaking news on that event. A new report says that former White House chief strategist Steve Bannon will be uh, accompanying more in Fairhope. You'll remember that Bannon also campaigned with more in Fairhope during the runoff. Uh, meanwhile, we've also reached out tonight to uh, Doug Jones's campaign to see if they'll be making any last minute stops in Mobile or Baldwin counties. Uh, they got back with us late this evening telling us they're still mapping out their itinerary for the last two weeks. Live tonight in Theodore, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.